This is always the biggest topic, right? You pick up any game with a bunch of characters and what do you do? Pick the one that suits your playstyle? Or do you go to a tier list and pick something from there? Well, neither of them, obviously. You pick the hottest one. Very rarely are you going to see perfectly balanced games. People like variety and variety always comes with imbalance. Now, Brawlhalla has it a bit easier than other games that have multiple characters. This is because the characters in Brawlhalla share movesets with one another. Every character has the same unarmed attacks, characters with the same weapon have the same default attacks. I mean, the only thing separating one legend from another are the stats, the weapon combination itself, and the six signatures that they have. Since so many things are similar and the cast of characters isn't that large, Brawlhalla ends up being more balanced than games like League or Street Fighter or Dead by Daylight, you name it. But of course, even so, it's not 100% balanced. Now I know there's a patch coming soon, I made a video on it, but there's still some people going, what the hell? Why is Mordex getting nerfed? What? A dusk buff? Axe is broken, why are they buffing it? Well, here's a little thing about balancing things. If you're not initiated about balancing things in games, then you may be like, what the f Hello? This character is obviously broken. Why don't the devs just nerf it? Clearly they don't care about the game and they have no idea what they're doing. Now, while that may be true, this point of view ignores a lot of things. First of all, we're the players, okay? We're the audience, the paying customers. Now, I already know what you're thinking. Paying customers? This game's free! No, you just haven't played the game enough to realize the hidden fees. Now, as a player of this game, you experience things differently than the developers. One huge misconception that people often have is that developers are somehow geniuses or pros at their own game and that they know every single part of it or that they play it every day of every hour of every second. I mean, after all, they made the game, right? <laughs> well, developers, believe it or not, don't actually play their games that much. It's the players who really find out the quirks of the game and relay the information back to the devs. They're essentially giving us the tools for us to create things with, like strategies and tech and whatnot. Because the devs aren't playing the game that much, they end up not being that good at it. So for them to balance the game around their own experience in their own game would be heavily biased. But then here's the problem, right? Who, who do they listen to? Do they listen to the pros of the game who clearly know what they're talking about, right? Since they're so good at it. Or do you listen to the majority of the players who tell you to nerf Queen 9? Well, the fact of the matter is, if it's coming out of somebody's mouth, it probably has bias. So it becomes very difficult to balance anything without actual data. So if bias is the problem, then why don't we just nerf the high win rate characters and buff the low win rate characters? Now, this is a take that I hear a lot. And though win rate does provide insight on characters that may need changes, it by itself is not actually that reliable because of confounding variables. For example, a character might just have a low win rate because the character is particularly difficult to play. So if you buff them, a player who is actually pretty good with this character to begin with will now suddenly destroy everyone because the weapon's now overtuned. Another example is a character that has a high win rate, but that's only because very few people play them. So it causes players who are unfamiliar with the matchup to just lose more often against this character. If you want to balance something, you really need to look at all kinds of data. You need the win rate and the play rates of individual ranks on each character or weapon. You might need to know which moves are being used the most and which ones are landing the most. Then with this data, you can combine it with the player feedback. Pro players are obviously going to be more insightful about the game than your average gold player, and they also know how to play characters optimally, so it might be tempting to take what they say as truth. But the fact of the matter is, is that there's bias in every skill level, so you need to be making sure you are listening to as many people as possible, including the lower skill level players. You might think that balancing the game around the best players is a good idea, because if a pro player says a character is balanced, but you're losing to it, it's probably just because you're not good enough and you should just get good, right? Well, look at it this way. Let's say there's a character who is very strong, but had a very glaring weakness, except this weakness can only be taken advantage of if you are very good at the game. To a pro player then, this character would be perfectly balanced because they're skilled enough to take advantage of that weakness. But to a lesser skilled player, they're essentially fighting an unbeatable character with no weaknesses. And remember that the majority of the players are not pro players. This of course will lead to frustration and inevitably them leaving the game. And low diamond players are still awful compared to pros. I mean, I can beat a gold player just as easy as a 2400 can beat me. So we're talking about 99% or more percentage of the player base that would struggle against this character and 1% who wouldn't. And that most definitely isn't balanced. Now I have no idea how BMG balances their game. There's never been an experimental for testing balance changes, at least from what I know. So whether or not they listen to us or they just use data is beyond me. But I do think that there should probably be some kind of balance changes test feature thing so that they can collect data from there, we can try things out, and then we can provide feedback to the devs.